Tomorrow, Davis is celebrating Pride with all day family friendly events, but they are kicking it all off with a little run and walk. We check in with Molly this morning, who was there with the preview warming up. Hey, Molly. That's right. On your market set, <laughs> go. Celebrate. That's what we're doing oh, here celebrate. today at Central Park. See on the corner of us. Uh, yes, and go. Actually, on the corner of C and Third, there. That's where uh, runners will take off uh, in just about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes for the annual run for equality. Now, of course, this all goes toward a great cause. It's supporting the Davis Phoenix Coalition. Uh, so I want to introduce you to some MVPs this morning. This is Sandra. He is the director of Davis Pride. And this is Mayor Davis Mayor Gloria Partida. She is also the founder and chair of the Davis Phoenix Coalition. So let's start with you, Ms. Mayor, and talk about what the Phoenix Coalition is. It's something very near and dear to your heart. It certainly is. It is a nonprofit, and we do diversity and inclusion work. And so we try to heighten the visibility of our marginalized people in the community. We do anti bullying work. Uh, we support other groups that are doing diversity and inclusion work. And in June, we put on the city's Pride Festival. And so we're super excited uh, to, you know, make this all inclusive uh, festival today. And talk about the Phoenix, too. That's a, a sure, beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, the start of our uh, nonprofit was caused by a hate crime. And so, about eight years ago, my son was involved in a very violent hate crime. And, uh, the, and we started the Phoenix Coalition to, as I said, work on these issues that are, you know, still very present and still need a lot of work. And so, the Phoenix Rising is because our tagline is rising out of the ashes of hate. It's a beautiful message. It's a beautiful message. And Sandre, talk about, you know, coming together this weekend, especially after the last two years. What a beautiful site this is right now. Yes, this is very exciting to be back in full swing. Uh, last year we did a scaled down version. Um, and the year before in 2020, we just did a virtual event. And so it is good and exciting to come back and just have 100 vendors out here today, two full music stages. Um, how many? 150 runners out here. Bunch of zones. You know, bunch, bunch of zones. Everyone. So we are very excited to be back at full capacity. It's awesome. Now it might be too late for you to come out to run <laughs> unless you get here really quickly. Oh, no, you, you could be. Have 15 minutes. You still have 15 minutes. Okay. Hurry on let's over. Go. Uh, but there is a lot of celebration <laughs> to do today. But let's talk with some of the runners now. Some people have traveled a long ways. There's runners of all ages. Uh, Ellen here yes. came all the way from Antioch this morning. You oh, drove an cool. hour this morning to be here. Absolutely. Absolutely. We drove an hour. We have friends that live here. We're supporting them. Um, and besides, it's a great cause, and kids really need to know that they're accepted for who they are. My daughter came out. It was, yeah. <laughs> you know, so she's got her little rainbow. And <laughs> It's just a great cause, so it's worth coming out for. Yeah, a lot of celebration and joy here this morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I hope you run fast, but more importantly, I hope you just find joy in, in the day. You know what? I want to run safe, which is what everybody wants, to be safe. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, we're going to catch the start of the race. Uh, they kick off at 8, so we'll be here as we do that. And then coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, we'll also hear about the festival that is coming up. You have plenty of time to come out and celebrate uh, for the festival later today. Today. We'll send it back to you. Sounds great. Perfect. Thank Looks you like so fun much, out there. Molly. Thanks, yes. Molly. Out on C Street.